Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I show you this simple monochromatic fall makeup look. This is the monochromatic look that I've been going for lately. I've worn this quite a few times now and I really like how it turns out every single time. It's a very simple yet really pretty and like warm and toasty berry toned look that I really enjoy. I also use a lot of Mented Cosmetics products. I recently made a big purchase on their website and wanted to feature a lot of their things because I'm like truly falling in love with some of them and already am in love. With some of their products so I thought I'd share them with you because they're such good makeup products and yeah this is how the look turned out I think it turns out pretty like every single time I do it just because the products that I use are just good ones but yeah um, this is the face mostly mended cosmetics I hope you like it and let's get started <laughs> So I'm going to start with lip balm. This is Mented Cosmetics Balms Away. This is their new coconut lip treatment. And this stuff is really nice. It's like a very thick, balmy lip balm. It's like a classic lip balm. I'm also going to use some primer. This is the Becca Cosmetics Backlight Priming Filter. My skin has been feeling really crusty. That's the only word I can think of, like especially around my mouth, I don't know what's happening, but I feel like a more luminous primer today. And then the first product I'm going to be using is the Mented Cosmetics Foundation Stick in L10. This is like the perfect shade for me and I've actually slightly fallen in love with this product. I've only used it a couple of times so that's why I say slightly fallen in love and not deeply in love yet because I haven't used it enough but I love foundation sticks so much just purely for the ease of the product. I hate like squeezing things out onto my face and or on my hands and then like wiping them all over my face. I just find it so much easier to just swipe a stick all over my face and then blend it out with a brush. So I love foundation sticks and I actually saw this demoed on um, maybe like an ad, a sponsored ad by them or on their Instagram page and it looked so gorgeous so I bought it and I'm so happy I did because the shade matches me almost, I'd say nearly perfectly and it just blends so beautifully and so well on the skin and gives me such a beautiful coverage as well. Like, that was like four swipes. And it looks amazing. So I love this stuff so much and I'm so excited to continue using it and I go through foundation sticks pretty quickly and they're my my most favorite type of foundation so I'm happy to add another stick to the repertoire yeah that shade is like perfect for me I'd cover up my eczema but I'm not going to because it's just gonna irritate it more so that's just something I have to deal with <laughs> I think that's good for coverage, but I'm just going to add a little bit more under my eyes and then on my cheek area, just a tad bit more. Yeah. I'm breaking out a little bit and I messed with it right before filming and I'm like, why did I do this to myself? so obnoxious. I'm so obnoxious to myself. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the shade is absolutely perfect for me. And I'm gonna do just a little bit of highlighting, I guess, underneath the eyes because my eyes are looking a little dark but not too bad. So just a tad right where I have like the darkest area in my eye. And I actually got this new brush by Persona Cosmetics, their double-ended brush and I'm really excited to use it. I thought I'd use this one for highlight, but I already have a favorite highlight brush, so I wanna use this for concealer and see how it works, because I really like brushes for concealer as well. I 
especially like a good fluffy brush like this. And that was the NARS Creamy Concealer by the way and I use the shade Macadamia. This is a newer concealer to me and I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like it might be too thick for my liking um, and not as moisturizing as I'd like it to be but I'm still playing with it so I haven't quite decided how I feel about it. So I think my complexion is looking pretty good. It is feeling a little tacky so I'm just going to powder. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in shade Natural Beige 220 and I'm just going to take a Real Techniques powder brush and just slightly powder all over my face. Just to take down some of that tackiness because I'm also using a um, powder bronzer as well. Oh my gosh, this little piece of hair is going to bug me so bad. So I actually cut my hair last night. I, I don't know, something came over me and I was like, I want to cut four inches off of my hair and then I did and I've also been talking to my friend Emily about getting like curtain bangs or bangs I've been lusting after bangs for such a long time as everyone is I feel like and I just haven't been able to bite the bullet I also never get my hair cut I like never got my hair cut as a kid so the cost of a haircut like scares me for some reason um and it's just like ugh, like a a punch to the gut because I feel like it's so expensive and that's why I really avoid getting my hair cut so usually when I cut my hair I do it myself or I do it like once every three years and I cut it like this short um, and make the haircut worth it anyway I digress I cut my hair this weekend and I tried to give myself little curtain bangs they're like this long right now and I I don't know how I feel about it right now have you guys cut your hair during this quarantine time. How'd it turn out? Do you like it? Did you do bangs? Would love to know. Please let me know. <laughs> also, if you have any tips or tricks, would love to know that as well. Okay, anyway, sorry. I'm gonna use the Vesca uh, Kiss by Deony bronzer here. My friend Aaron actually gave this to me. He is so sweet. I'm gonna link him down below, I love him. Um, but he, I don't, maybe it didn't work for him, I'm not sure, but he gave this to me and I've really been liking it, so I'm so excited to use this on camera. Um, yeah, it's a great bronzer and they have lots of shades, which is really nice. And I find that this shade actually works really well for me as well. And it blends on the skin really nicely and it does it with quite a bit of pigment at first, but you can really blend it out. Wow, this little guy is really coming through. Come through, pimple. I'm gonna try and cover that up a little bit more. Also, something that I do, I don't know if this grosses you out, but like, I'll put the concealer right next to the pimple, not on top, and then like, dab it on the actual pimple so as not to get the dofa applicator messy with the pimple <laughs> what am i saying on the actual applicator do you know what i mean i don't know what i'm saying but yeah i just isn't that so pretty and it blends so well Okay, next up I'm going to use the Mented Cosmetics Brow You Know. I have the shade, I can never remember what shade I have, but um, I'll link it down below. Um, I don't think this is the perfect shade for me, but I think it's decent enough, and I love how small the little pencil is. It reminds me a lot of, um, like, the L'Oreal brow pencil, this thin one or any other really good thin brow pencil which is nice so if you like a more precise brow I would recommend they also have quite a few shades okay next up I'm gonna go in with some brow wax I'm gonna be using the Patrick Ta brow wax 
Um, this is one of my favorites. I use this a lot off camera. I mean, I don't do that many makeup looks on camera anyway, but I use this a lot and I really like it. It keeps my brows up really well and it gives me that really like separated feathery look as well. So I just spray it once and then run my spoolie through. I don't get too much product on there because I find that it's really easy to overdo it and then you're kind of overwhelmed with how much product you have on your brows. So I start off with just a little bit and it's um, pretty wet at first and I'm very light when I apply it. I don't like really press hard or anything, I just slightly add it to my brows. And do you just see like how it separates those brow hairs? It's so nice. And then I'll just take the back of my spoolie, this one doesn't have a pencil or anything at the end, and I'll just lightly press it down. I'll honestly barely touch it, but I do like to press it down a little bit just to make it hold, I guess, and like really concrete it in place. And I just think it makes my brows look amazing. Like really perky. Okay, next, this is what I'm really excited for. This is the blush that I got. They were sold out of this blush for such a long time and I kept revisiting the site to see if it was still available and it wasn't, but then it finally came back in stock so I was able to pick it up. And when I picked this blush up, I picked up all the rest of the things that I got. But this is the Mented Cosmetics blush in Clay Too Much. It is this gorgeous, like, burgundy like light burgundy shade I just think it's so beautiful and for the fall and winter time I think this blush will be perfect um, it is quite pigmented so um, just be light-handed with it and I like to place this just on the upper parts of my cheeks and I like using this really um, precise brush this is a real techniques multitask cheek brush over like a big fluffy brush just so I can get like the concentrated color where I want it and then I'll usually just like blend around but yeah I really like this brush for more pigmented blushes but the shade's just so beautiful and I always hit the tip of my nose and like around the cheek area when I do my blush. And I actually like to take a bigger fluffier brush and I'll just lightly go in to the blush and just like sweep it across and make sure to hit my nose. That way I'll get the color there but it's not as pigmented. Okay, and I'm actually going to use the same shade for my eyes as well. That's going to give us the monochromatic look. And this is just a Wet n Wild uh, fluffy brush, I think. These are like $2.50. They're such a good price, and I think they're a really great brush. And I'll just get my brush in there real good and tap off the excess and just blend this into my crease. And yeah, that's just like, basically all I do, I just blend it into my crease and that's it. And like blow it out a little bit on the edges as well. And then you just have this like cohesive look with the blush and the eyeshadow because they are literally the same product. And then I'm just gonna go in with a clean brush and hit the top. But I'm gonna take a pencil brush now and this is from ColourPop. This is the ColourPop E5. I don't know if they still sell this, but I got this a while ago, but I'm sure they sell something similar. I'm going to take the same blush and just hit the bottom of my lash line. Just for a little pizzazz. I think that looks pretty <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with some or sorry some highlight oh dang it I wanted to use this for blush would have been perfect 
Maybe I'll just use it a little bit. Just add a little bit more blush. Okay, now I'm going to go in with highlights. And I'm going to be using the Real Techniques um, setting brush. And then the Golden Flower Crown highlight by Wet n Wild. I haven't used this in a really long time. And I felt like pulling it out again. I'm just going to hit the tops of my cheeks. So I'm not quite sure where my camera stopped recording, but I think it was at the highlight part. But anyway, I finished with some highlight and then I went over it a little bit with the blush again because I felt like the highlight was removing the blush on my like upper cheek area. Um, but now I'm just going to put some mascara on and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I just put some mascara on. I just used, I think this is the Colossal, Maybelline Colossal Mascara. I don't know, all the lettering has rubbed off of it. <laughs> so I'm um, pretty sure that's what this is called though. And waterproof always. And now for lips, which I'm also very excited about. I have so many good things from Mented Cosmetics, but today I'll share with you the three that I want to share with you. What am I saying? Um, it is the lip liner, lipstick, and lip gloss. So this is the Mented Cosmetics La La Lip Liner, and I'm going to use this to lip, lip line my lip line, line my lip line. And these lip liners, I've talked about them before, they're so good. They're very creamy. <sighs> they're just always so amazing and they glide over your lips so beautifully and the pigmentation is incredible as well and this shade is freaking gorgeous again this is the shade lala by Men mented cosmetics i have three of their lip liners now and they've got to be one of my most favorite lip liners of all time they're just so creamy and comfortable and glide on the lips so beautifully and yeah they're just really good so the next product i'm going to talk about is the mented cosmetics peach please lipstick this is such a beautiful lipstick and also very comfortable on the lips and matches perfectly with Lala. Like, don't they go well, so well together? Gorgeous. I love these two together so much. And then to top it all off, I'm going to use the Mented Cosmetics um, lip gloss in number one crayon this one right here and it's just like this really beautiful cranberry shade that I think just works so beautifully with the lip liner and lipstick and to finish the look off I'm just gonna take my favorite Lottie London freckle tint and just put some tint back onto the existing moles on my face so I have one you can kind of see like right above my lip and I just like to re-emphasize that I also have a couple on my nose and then a few on my face like my cheek area that peek through my makeup a little bit So I just like to bring those back and then I'll tap over them. And then if I've taken too long to tap over them, I'll go in with my foundation brush and just go over it one more time. Just in case they're too intense or something like that. So that was everything. Just take my hair down. So that was everything. This is my simple monochromatic fall makeup look. I really played off the blush. I love using my blush as my eyeshadow. So when I wore this look earlier, I just knew I wanted to film it for you because it's such a beautiful fall, berry toned, warm, toasty type of fall look. 
and I just love all the products that I got from Mented Cosmetics so much so I also wanted to share that with you. So I hope you like the look. I think it turned out really pretty. This is like the third time I've worn this look and I enjoy it every single time. But yeah, there are just some really good products in here that I wanted to share with you and also show you my like go-to fall monochromatic look right now. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. But thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!